Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to install Fabric Cam. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back to the tutorial here. So now after we have downloaded Fabric Cam, which we did in the previous video, we've got the installation file, make sure it is the latest version before we start installing it. Now to install it, you simply want to double click this um, uh, Fabric Cam icon and then we will be met here with copyright and information about the setup. So you can read the bottom here, just make sure you don't duplicate this or copy it anyway because you can be held liable by law. So then what we want to do then is click next after you've read that and then we've got the inst uh, installation folder or location and a few other settings. So what you can do under the location, you can obviously change where you want it installed. So then you can go browse and then go relocate it. But I would recommend just keep it on the default location because uh, programs run quite well under program files. And then after that we've got um, install Fabricam for yourself or for anyone who uses this computer. So now over here, this will, det uh, depending on if it's like a work computer or if more than one person on that computer is using the program, you might wanna change this. So everyone, let's say you've got a small business, but you have a few different employees that uses it on different computer users, then you wanna leave it on for everyone. If you're the only person using the program and you don't want other people messing around with your program, then you always leave uh, I'll put on just me and then only your user will be able to use this program. I'm going to leave mine for everyone and then you, what you want to do is you click next then it just tells you that it's about to install the program to your computer if you click next then you can go back if you're not sure if you want to change something otherwise you click next to get the installation started. Now the Windows is going to ask you for administrative rights to start installing so you just say yes and then it will start the installation. Now it should ask you about plasma um, uh, generator, which type of plasmas you want to use. So over here you can go through the models. I'm just going to leave everything on and say OK. So then after we've said OK, we're going to get a few uh, messages telling us that, that certain dills were succeeded or um, basically it found it. So we can just say OK. It's going to be a few of those, so about three I think. Okay, now only two and then after that is done it's going to ask you for the .NET framework now I have already installed mine so um, if it's your first time you can always just accept the license agreement and then install it so I'm just going to say cancel here and then go resume okay it looks like this thing wants me to uh, reinstall so I'm going to reinstall it and then just pause it with the actual installation so that you guys uh, don't have to watch the whole process so I'm going to pause here and then catch up once it's done okay once the .NET framework is done you guys will notice it's 32-bit so you need this to run your program in the best condition so we can click finish and then everything was successfully installed so we can just click close now you guys will notice if you try to start the program, unfortunately you will first need activation code from your with the USB drive and that we'll be covering in the next video. But in the meanwhile, we head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search in the top right if you don't find what you're looking for. Then if there's no training videos available on the topic you're looking for, just go here, request a training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching until next one cheers